All right, guys, what is up? It's your boy Cole back with another video. In today's video, I have no plans. And by plans, I mean I have no script. I don't have any notes written down. I'm just going to go. I'm going to run it. it. It's Expo versus Linear, why I switched to Expo, and why I might not stay on it. Get into the video. A lot of you guys may know, because of my last settings video, I switched to Exponential instead of Linear, which basically means you go to the controller settings right here, go to the bottom, and I used to be on Linear. And now I'm an exponential. I'm gonna explain to you guys what exponential is right now and why my settings are a little bit different. So linear basically means when you move your stick, it moves at the exact same speed the entire time. Like once you're maxed out and once you push your stick all the way over, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure this is exactly what it is. Once you push your stick all the way over, it is going the same speed the whole time. Exponential means you exponentially increase your speed. Basically, that's how I like to think about it. It's usually how people think about it. So if I move my stick, exponential basically adds boost almost. So like you aren't moving the same speed the entire time. It kind of starts off slow and then rapidly increases. Expo's kind of in a way, a lot of the ways you play video games already. So if you play Call of Duty, uh, Call of Duty feels a lot like exponential. Halo as well is exponential. Like the new game that just came out, Halo Infinite, it is kind of an exponential feel to it. They have a linear setting in these games, but the linear setting doesn't really feel uh exactly like fortnite's linear fortnite's linear is very unique after coming back from halo and call of duty like say you take a break and play halo and cod you might notice that your fortnite sense is extremely high and it just feels like that because linear is extremely quick extremely fast so once you go from expo to linear a lot of times people say they feel like a bobblehead they feel like they can't control their stick they feel like they're looking all over the place it's too sensitive and some people may really like that i personally do really like that i was on linear for probably about a year year and a half now i don't even know how long it's been i've been on linear pretty much since the setting came out uh, we put on exponential i think for two weeks maybe three weeks and then someone hit me up and said yo you should try linear it's really great i think i was one of the first controller players to switch just because there weren't too many people trying it at the time and one of my friends who was pretty under the radar was like yo you should try this and i went to it i didn't like it but i sort of got used to it after like 10 20 minutes i went back to exponential and then i was unable to play the game because exponential felt so horrible and I know a lot of you guys can probably relate to this because it really does feel terrible. The first time you use it after going from linear, it feels slow, sluggish. It feels like you're dragging your sticks through the mud. It's not a great feeling, which is why when you go to other games from Fortnite, like Call of Duty or Halo, it, it feels slow. The sense feels really slow and off because linear is so fast on Fortnite in particular. So my old settings on linear, if you were aware, I believe was 2.0, 2.0, and now I'm on 1.8, 1.8 for building edit. And I was on 42, 42 for the longest time. And now I'm on 47, 47. Like I said, Expo is a lot slower. It feels like I tried to offset this a bit because I was on 2.0, 2.0. So going up in sense and then down in build and edit kind of makes it balance out a little bit. So it feels about the same as where I was. The reason I went up to 47, 47 is you want it to feel a little bit faster because like I said, it is slower. It's not as responsive. So a little bit faster is more natural. I honestly didn't have much of an issue transitioning. I always play with 10, 10 uh, ADS and I know D-Roller does too. So he's the reason I play 10, 10. And Dead zones or whatever you want to be honest but it is important to know what you're doing when you switch and why switching is so such a big deal for so many people i get probably the most comments right now about expo why'd you switch switch back to linear I i'm gonna give you a couple pluses to expo and a couple pluses to linear so right now off the top of my head linear players have very it's a very responsive stick movement and it's very responsive to what you want to do your aim will be a little bit looser and it feels super quick so sometimes people on linear may tend to overshoot their shots which means shoot too far ahead of the player or even overshoot their edits or something but expo is kind of the complete opposite where it's a little bit delayed and you you tend to undershoot shots so a lot of times you go for like a bottom right corner a top right corner edit and you'll make a door in the, in the bottom right corner instead of because you just it, your stick won't move as much and that is something to get used to exponential has always been known to be more similar to legacy settings which was the previous fortnite settings back on legacy the aim assist was extremely strong and exponential is similar to that it feels really sticky when you're aiming it feels like it's super sticky like it just locks onto the player almost in comparison to linear where it's more of your own aim but linear players tend to have better mechanics just because it is so responsive and so quick obviously there are exceptions like re and d roller and like all these great players wavy jacob all these guys you know they have great mechanics but it's not as easy to have great mechanics one thing i will say which is something to take into account when switching to expo if you want to because i do think the aim is better on exponential it sort of feels like you can't play for as long of a 
a period of time. And I think that's the main reason I may switch back to linear from Expo. Your thumbs get sore, your hands get sore because you're doing so much more work to move the sticks. Aim is probably the most important factor in Fortnite and will be forever. No matter how good your mechanics are, if you can't hit a shot, then you can't hit a shot. You don't need good mechanics to just hold your gun out in front of someone and, and trade shots and hit harder than them. If you value your mechanics, then linear is definitely the play. But if you more so value your aim, then I would say exponential is probably the play. I'm very used to this, right? Like I said, I've been playing a lot of Halo and COD. I'm very used to it. At the same time, when I get on, I do have to, I feel like I have to warm up. Like I haven't touched the game today, guys, so bear with me. But when I do get on, I feel like it takes me a little bit more of a warm up to get ready to play. And also um, my hands wear out a lot faster than they used to. Uh, now, this is 100% a bad thing. This is something that as an older pro player, or an older advocate right now, I would tell you guys, if you have any hand issues, stay away from Expo and just stick with linear because it's so much more natural. On Expo, you'll be making a lot more edits like this where like, say you want to make a bottom right corner, you'll, you'll make a door because it won't be as reactive and you don't feel super in tune with your uh, mechanics. So on Expo, it's a lot harder to have good mechanics, like I said but you will have significantly better aim if you get used to it. It's not something where you're gonna switch and your aim's gonna feel way better because up close, it's honestly nothing crazy. Um, but from distance, it is a big deal. And it really is. If you notice like that medium range aim assist when you're shooting your AR at someone, just kind of locks on and sticks to them a lot more than linear does. It's possible to have super good mechanics on Expo. I mean, you've seen people do it. So why not take the benefit? I've been on Expo for about a week now, and there's a lot of things that make me consider switching back. Partially, the season just came out, and as you guys know, there's been some aim assist adjustments. And some of them are like when you have the MK7, like this assault rifle, in a box with someone, you start shooting, like you don't have good aim assist. It feels really weird. Same with the submachine gun sometimes. You feel like you don't have aim assist. So I'm kind of waiting for that to be patched and like fixed to see if it's like worth me sticking on it but like i said after a certain amount of time maybe like 20 minutes of pging like giving my all 100 like editing and it feels so much more like you're the one doing everything i don't know how to explain it it's so much more less responsive than linear that your hands just cramp up and tend to get very sore so if you are someone who's older or has any previous hand issues i would just advi advise you to probably stay away since it's not a make or break personally for me i wanted to try it and i would recommend every one of you guys if you can to give expo a shot because it is viable it is definitely viable you can have great mechanics on it and if you do have an added benefit of aim like you know then why not rock with it for at least a little bit and try it's all preference guys at the end of the day i want to try it i've heard that the aim benefits outweigh the slight it in mechanics and i feel like aim is just such an important factor that why not give it a shot so i'm gonna stick with it but like i said who knows maybe in a week's time i'll switch back to linear for the mechanics again and who knows maybe i'll stay on expo the real thing is just the input delay i think that's the main i know i'm kind of rambling so my editor can is gonna have to deal with a lot here so i'm very sorry but like the main difference is just the aim with expo and the input delay feel like it feels worse but the aim feels a bit stickier and with linear it feels better but the aim isn't as sticky how do you guys think your gameplay is do you think you're a support player who stays back and shoots his ar pe at people a lot in team fights or when you're fighting people or are you some type of like bragger who just jumps in boxes because then you might want linear like are you a better box fighter you might just want linear but like if you're someone who values shooting their guns and like helping your team from distance expo is a huge uh will, will definitely benefit you in that department from deep for sure i can go into more detail maybe in another video i don't really think there's that much more to talk about like i said kind of explain to you my sensitivity and i, I kind of free build a little bit just so you guys can under, get an understanding of how you can be on expo but realistically it is all down to personal preference and it doesn't really matter what you choose as more so as you grind the game the right way and i think no matter what you play on practice makes perfect putting the time into getting better at the right things is way more beneficial than just changing your sensitivity all the time so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video hopefully i could clear things up for you guys on why i kind of made the switch but like i said who knows who knows maybe by the time you watch this video i'll be on linear again i've been on expo for about a week week and a half now maybe i'll be on linear by the time you watch this or maybe i'll stay on expo i think i'm sticking with it who knows i'll see you guys in the next video make sure to like subscribe peace sorry for rambling your ear off